Steve from Martin's Piano Tuning and Repairs here at the same piano that I was at yesterday, an old Weidig piano from made in Germany. This company was founded in about 1843 I believe in Germany and yesterday what I did was I did some work on these tuning pins. And you see this? This is super glue that gets injected down into the pin block between the tuning pins. And it works to swell the tuning pin block some and causes the pins to have more torque in the block and that's a really really good fix works very very well it's a once for all fix and right now I'm about to stand this piano up and do some work on it I am expecting to have to replace some of the felt under the key bed notice the keys there the piano is on its back at the moment on the cradle, check the cradle out there, very good piece of equipment and so we will see how we go. Alrighty, so as if by magic the piano is back up against the wall Ooh, hard yakka. And here is a picture of my trusty cradle. It's another coat of black paint actually. So on with the job. Now I want to show you this. If I can. I'm playing middle C here. So See if we can get it from this angle. This is what we call an action with lost motion. Do you see how that check moves there? Like that, when I press the key, but the corresponding hammer doesn't move. It starts to move there. But we have there about five mil of lost motion, which means that we, we lose about 25 mil of movement from the hammer. We lose quite a bit of power from that hammer. So, you will see now that I have just adjusted that bit of regulation there to stop that lost motion and both the hammer and the weapon you can see the check there with a piece of purple felt on it is moving at the same time, which is good. And we get good hammer regulation with good damper movement. Nice. And as expected, you can see the keys are out of the piano now. And the keys are up there on top of the piano. There's been quite some insect damage done here. This is what we call a balance rail. I'm going to have to replace a lot of those felts there. And, <laughs> funny, a little piece of scriptural reminder right there. That says, The Father himself loveth you. Almost put there prob by providence, just as a reminder. So, we'll get to and vacuum all this out. So, now we've got the key bed pretty well vacuumed. I'm about to put some borax in there and replace some of those balance rail felts and lubricate these pins here 
and also these pins here. It's all about taking care of the little things and letting the big things take care of themselves when you're repairing a piano. If you get the small things right, the bigger things fall into place much easier or much more easily. I'll get back to you soon. So this is what a key bed looks like when it's vacuumed and it's got a layer of borax on it. And you see the new red pieces of felt up there as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm about to show you this excellent lube. This just aids in the key not only slipping down onto the post but the movement of the key up and back. You fill out a few seconds later and it's nice and smooth whereas the ones adjacent aren't terribly smooth. Excellent finish on these posts. So now all the keys are back in place. All those posts have been lubricated and all the keys slipped on them beautifully so now I am going to lubricate these. So now we have the keys reinstalled, lubricated and the action back in the piano. And I will leave it here. This has been Steve from Martin's Piano Tuning and Repairs A Day in the Life of the Piano Tuner.